Dr. Rabarber, a maternal fetal medicine specialist at Carnegie Imaging for Women and Maternal Fetal Medicine Associates. Um, traditionally, there was no way to identify babies that were uh, anemic, even though we knew that they might be at risk. Several risk factors for fetal anemia, the baby getting anemic, is that the mother has antibodies that cross the placenta and attack the baby's red cells, whether it's RH disease or something called Kell sensitization uh, or others. This level of immunologic attack um, is not harmful to the mother and her immune system does not attack her red cells, but it attacks the baby's red cells and they can have anemia in pregnancy. Additionally, there's a virus that is relatively quite prevalent, something called Fifth disease or parvovirus um, that if mothers are not immune uh, and she gets infected during the pregnancy, a small percentage, about four or five percent of uh, babies can have severe anemia from that because the virus attacks the fetal red cells. So those two primary conditions are associated with fetal anemia and, those, and there are ways we can detect that and treat that. The detection is generally done with ultrasound where we look at blood flow in one of the vessels in the fetal brain and we look at the velocity of flow or how fast the blood is flowing because if the baby's anemic, the blood is actually very thin and in that setting, the blood flows much quicker. And so we look at the velocity of flow as a reflection of fetal anemia. If that test comes back positive and it's non-invasive, then an invasive test is required and in where we sample from the umbilical cord the fetal um, blood and if it's anemic we can transfuse the baby. With parvovirus particularly you generally only need at most one fetal transfusion however with the antibody conditions like RH disease you actually would need serial transfusions because the condition continues all throughout pregnancy until you deliver it. Um, and so there are treatments for fetal anemia and there are risk factors and we know about them and can identify it and prevent complications to babies from that.